If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm doing my Team of the Week, Week 10 predictions, guys. Now, pretty good week of the NFL. Fantasy wise, real life wise, some big games. Definitely some blowouts, some upsets, some almost upsets where I'm pretty sure, guys, almost convincingly now that the Lions are purposely tanking. There's no other way to put this. But even weirder, it almost looks like the Steelers are tanking too. If you watch the Steelers versus Lions game, neither one of those guys wants to win that game. I don't care what anyone says, no one wanted to win that game. Like, just go back and watch, like, the whole game, but like the final minute or two, like the final few minutes of the fourth. Actually, watch the whole fourth and then watch overtime. It was ridiculous. It was like they were tossing it back to each other, like, purposely. But, anyways, before we get into the video, Hit to the channel, hit that sub button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And of course, if you guys need coins, head on down below. And if you guys do want to check out Underdog Fantasy, who I am partnered with, and you guys want to get up to a free $100 to go enter, to go play, and have some fun on Daily Fantasy yourself, make sure to head on down below and use my link and my code as well. Thank you so much for watching. In terms of the beginning portion of this, let's get into the actual portion of the video here. So, Team of the Week predictions, guys. Let's start with the lower set, guys. It was a few good games, a few good performances. Let's go to the ones that would actually be kind of cool, as well as help people out here. Now, this one's actually... He has the potential to get the hero, but I'm going to put him as the lower one. That's A.J. Dillon. A.J. Dillon did have, like, 120 um, all-purpose yards, as well as two touchdowns as the backup. Although, Jones did get hurt, right? A.J. Dillon's a guy that people have been pounding for to get some more minutes, as well as to get a good card. Like, he's 247, guys. If he was to get the top card, he'd be really good. But let's assume he gets, like, an 88, 89, 90, right? Still a pretty decent card. Could get up to, like, 90 speed, essentially. Could get up to 90 speed with, like, 90 trucking with 247. Could be a great fullback option, unless he got the top guy, which, in that case, would be a great option in general. Next, we have C.D. Lamb. Well, before C.D. Lamb, we have Ramondre Stevenson, but he's not going to get a card that's relevant, but Stevenson did have a really good day as well. He had over, like, 100 yards and a touchdown. C.D. Lamb, though, another card that's only an 88. If he could get the plus one, or if they could just give him the 90, right? 8 and 90, he would be about a 90, 91, which would be pretty cool for any of you guys who do want a C.D. Lamb card upgrade. Now, C.D. Lamb already had a plus one, technically, right? But the, I guess the 88 takes the plus one. So, we got another one. He would be pretty good. He'd probably end up with, like, a 93 speed. Because he gets up to an 89, then the plus one, plus the power up, right? So, he's right around, probably like a 92 speed. His route running wouldn't be high enough for me to really care about. Card wouldn't be too great, but again, CeeDee Lamb, a lot of people probably want this card. Cowboys team teams, of course, so there's some use for him. Then we had Eric Kendricks, who had a sack pick and eight tackles. The problem with Eric Kendricks is that his cards are always kind of bad and slow, so I don't really see a use for his plus one in this specific situation, but we'll check it out anyways. Eric Kendricks has an 88 overall. If he was to get a plus one, he'd end up at a 90 with the power up. Leaves him with around 88 speed, 90 excel, low hit power, low zone. Nothing too crazy there. We had Jordan Lewis. He had three defended passes and a pick. He had a, he played a really large role in the foul in the you know Falcons being obliterated defensively. Um, like I said, we had CD, we had Stevenson, and we had AJ Dillon. Now, if we went to go check out Stevenson as well, Stevenson again, I actually really like him in real life, but I just don't think he would get a useful Madden card here because it's more so like when players already have 991s, we get that plus one to really knock him up. This is Ramondre Stevenson right here. Again. The plus one in him is not going to really do anything crazy. He's going to end up, whatever card he gets is going to be his main card. Uh, for whatever reason, he got the 89, 90. I mean, that would be a pretty significant upgrade. Uh, I, I don't I don't really see a use for him, though, unless he was to get the top card right, which I don't think is likely. And then, guys, Devin White, who had 18 tackles. 18 tackles. They must have been running the ball like hell on them all day for him to be out there like that. 18 tackles, and he had two sacks, right? Two sacks. So, he actually does have a good card. So, this is actually one of the ones you will notice the difference here. He has a 91 overall uh, Redux card. So, that means he will get up to a 93 because we have the plus one plus the power up. So, that's a plus two overall, which should get his speed to a 91, his excel to a 91, his hit power to like a 92, his play rack to a 90, his block shit's like an 87, strength above 80. It'll make the card pretty good. It'll give him some more speed and some more excel, which is important, as well as some more hit powers. A little bit higher zone. Not going to give him any specific thresholds, I suppose, besides, I guess, play rack, which he would have got powered up anyways. But yeah. That's it for the lower guys. Now we let's start with the legend hero. So for our first offensive legend, which would be a guy that people would actually really like, and that's Julius Peppers. Now, they might be saving him for a promo. It's pretty likely, but he did have three sacks and two fumbles this week back in like 2008 or something like 2008. Yeah, 
He had three sacks and two fumbles. Julius Pepper, you guys, would probably be the best end in the game. Or really, well, not the best. He'll be one of the more meta-esque based ends in the game, depending on his overall. Because remember, Julius Peppers gets crazy good speed and crazy good finesse move. If the block shed is right and his finesse moves like a 93-94 and his speed is like a 93-94 right around there, he's going to be a meta-esque end. Even if he's not like your main rush, you could just have him there for the contains and the spies. But he's going to be really, really good at containing most of these quarterbacks in a game where user input on quarterbacks is just a lot easier than it has been in the past. But moving on from that, we have Larry Fitz. Now, Larry Fitzgerald, he'd be fun. I, I don't believe we haven't gotten him right uh, in terms of like a good card of Fitzgerald in a while. Fitzgerald is the kind of guy that typically gets really bad cards. But luckily for him, this has been the year where they give guys who typically get low speed bad cards good cards. So I think Larry Fitzgerald could potentially get like a 92 speed, good route running, good height, good op, good after the catch ability surefire hands great catching traffic great spec catch Fitzgerald's always going to be a fun card right next guys for the current hero there's a player from this current week that had a phenomenal performance and there's a guy that hasn't gotten an upgrade all year that's Patrick Mahomes Patrick Mahomes I mean he had a bit of a rougher start to the year um still coming off it but he had a great performance he had five touchdowns 406 yards last week well yesterday now Patrick Mahomes is definitely due for an upgrade here could they be saving him for most uh Thanksgiving possibly could they be saving for Christmas possibly but a Patrick Mahomes current hero would end up around a 94 95 overall and guys he'd be pretty good right improviser obviously isn't ideal but if you gave him like a plus six increase here he ends up at like a 77 speed he ends up in like a mid 90s throw power mid 90s short he gets a 90 medium and 90 deep accuracy as well as 90 throw under pressure he gets all he gets all thresholds right and that's the key you'll get every threshold as an improviser we'll get us I'm not sure if he gets a skate artist it's gonna be close um it's just gonna be the problem with Mahomes is gonna be his abilities there's a chance he doesn't get escape artists. There's a chance he doesn't get like hot run masters. There's a chance he gets none. Of, he gets none of them, right? But I think he will get his awareness will be above 90. But again, it's different for improvisers. But he will also be higher overall. It really depends on the overall he gets as well as everything else. We'd have to wait and see until he gets the actual card if it's possible. But they could be saving for a promo, which actually probably be better because you'll get an even better card like a you know master or something or blitz. But Mahomes, for sure, would be a good stack card. I just don't know how the abilities will exactly pan out. And, of course, abilities come first in Madden, typically. And abilities also coincide with ratings. So, you know, if you get the right abilities, that means your ratings are also probably matching up with it. But, nonetheless, Mahomes is the hero. I would love to see that. He has not gotten a card all year. It almost feels like they are saving him. Well, Mahomes is one of those guys where people just get excited when he gets stuff, right? Him, Hill, the, the, the whole... The whole Kansas City, you know, the duo right there, they always... People get excited when they get cards. Now, Improviser has killed his stock a little bit in terms of Mutt. But a lot of people got him for like free and stuff. So there's still a potential for you to just have if you have him sitting there right with the power up at 88 just or 89 still just sitting there. If he gets this upgrade, you can just power him right up to it. So it makes it a lot easier for a lot of people, which is definitely going to take part in a lot of people's decision making. And then we have Mark Ingram for the LTD current. That's what I'm going with. He had a great year a few years ago. He had 131 great game. I should say 131 yards and three touchdowns in this one game. Now, again, there's been bigger yardage performances, but he had three touchdowns with above 130. Like that, that's a good game. That's not including receiving. That was just rushing yards. Now, Mark Ingram, all he has is a base gold. Now, he just got back in the Saints, had a pretty good week last week. I could feel like this would be the time to like really toss some Mark Ingram in there. Mark Ingram at an LTD 95 overall, like with power up and everything, with a plus, like almost, what is it, 18 increase. He'd probably end up with like a 93 speed. 93 speed, 94 excel. Um... 90 agility probably ends up like high 80 low 90 carrying ends up in the 70s for catching ends up in the high 80s change of direction probably ends up in the 90s for trucking probably ends up close to 90 for break tackle as well as some like i said the catch will be decent 5 foot 9 215 he'll be a, he'll be a good stack card he'll be a multi power slash elusive back the only problem is i don't think he would be a meta back maybe because of the weight and the height but he'd be a fun card i mean he'd be an interesting card to see especially if they do it like if they put him on the saints for the ltd although i this could be the ravens year i'm not entirely sure this could be his really good year with the ravens or right before he left the saints when he was still with alvin right i'm not entirely sure because he was right in the cusp of that but it's about it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you to the channel hit that sub button turn that on bell give this a big thumbs up and of course if you guys want to check out underdog fantasy the link will be down below in the description make sure you use my code to get up to a free 100 on your first deposit thank you for watching i'm out